hi guys welcome back to my channel for those who know me what's up for those who are new welcome to my channel this channel is called life with gabriella because this is just anything and everything i post on here for those who want to jesus i'm sorry for the loud noise it's christmas eve everybody's playing music people stomping upstairs so it's really hectic right now but before i leave i want to do this video so this is going to be this is going to be a Q&A of being a nail tech, self-taught nail tech. I do have a main channel which is my singing channel. I'm going to put the description in the link. Ugh. I'm going to put the link in the description below. That's my main channel. But yeah, I go from that channel to this channel. And for those who want to follow me on social media, that will also be in the description below. So, I went on Instagram and asked you guys to ask me questions about my nail tech experience being a self-taught nail tech all that stuff so the first question was how did i get started doing nails so i got started doing nails about i would say a year ago yeah like a year ago it was just this one day i really wanted to like get my nails done and on instagram you know you see a lot of pictures of nails and I would want my nails to look a certain way. Like, I'll go to the nail salon and I'll show them a picture of like an ombre set, right? And I'll go to the nail salon and I look at my nails when they're done and it's not, it looks nothing like the photo. Like, they just couldn't duplicate or replicate what I showed them. Like, they couldn't do it. Any, any, any nail salon I went to, they just couldn't do it. Like, I did like how this, it was this fire um nail salon it was like a all spanish place it was spanish girls doing it and usually you know it's the asians doing your nails so i'm like i don't trust no spanish girls doing my nails like the asians got it right but i went to the spanish girls and they bodied my nails like that was the first time i really really liked my nails and it was my blue baby shower nails and those were the the first time i really like damn i love my nails and they lasted like three weeks but the only thing is she paid she, i had to pay like 120 dollars for those nails like it's really expensive so yeah i'm self-taught i just went on youtube and um typed in how to do nails how to do your own nails self-taught how to correctly shape your nails how to do acrylic nails i practiced on myself clearly the first attempts were horrible i'll show y'all horrible and i just started practicing on my sister um i bought a mannequin hand this one is a um it's like a real life hand i had a mannequin hand but it was more like fake I didn't really like how, you know, like this part, this, don't mind my nails, like they're really crusty right now, but this part, like you, you want, you want something like this because you could like insert the fake nail in here and it just, it just resembles, it just resembles a real nail than a fake hand. I'm gonna I'm show you guys what I'm talking about, but yeah, it, it was like a plastic hand. It was not working for me. So I bought this one and was practicing on this one. But I really just practice on my sister a lot. Like, thank you to my sisters and my friends. I really practice on my sisters and my friends a lot until I felt, you know, I was getting better at it. Yeah, from then on, I just um, followed a lot of nail pages um, and bought products like Young Nails is a very good acrylic product. Nail House is cool. Um boy you know a nail filer um i forgot what this is called led light handy majiggy i haven't done nails in a minute nail test you know i bought all that stuff and was just practicing i really invested in my craft what is the most difficult thing about doing acrylic nails now to me the most difficult thing about doing the acrylic nail was the application. It was the hardest for me because if I put too much acrylic on the nail, I would take forever. F 
filing it towards the end. Like if you put the right amount in the beginning, you'll spend less time filing at the end. One of the reasons why I stopped is just, it was just way too much work for me, way too much. What advice would I give someone who is starting to do nails and wants to become a nail tech? My advice would be just to practice, practice, practice. Like if you're self-taught, that's great. But I, eventually I would want, to, I would have wanted to get my nail license, you know, just to have that under my belt. And there's also stuff that you can learn in school that you won't learn by yourself on YouTube. So I've definitely wanted to, you know, be licensed. So my advice would just be if you're self-taught, you should eventually strive to be licensed because depending on what city you're in, where you live, it might be illegal to do nails if you're not licensed. I'm in New York, so I never had a problem with, you know, doing people's nails and not being licensed. But I did my research. I was very careful. You know, I switched files for every person. Um, I always clean my equipment with alcohol, sanitize it, sterilize it because, you know, I don't play with germs. So, yeah, I was very careful. Some people that are self-taught, you do have to be careful because not everybody is, is as careful. And some people will use a file they use for you on the next person, on the next person, not switch files. And you can have a whole infection in your nails. So you really got to be careful who you go to. Okay, someone asked me, how long did it take me to get good at doing nails? Now, I would say a few months, really. Like, I was just literally practicing, like, every two days, every day on my family, on my sister. I'll be like, girl, don't get your nails done. Let me practice on you or my friend. Don't get your nails done. I'm going to do your nails. When I first started, it took me literally 10 to 8 hours to do my nails and to do my friend's nails, my sister's nails, 8 to 10 hours. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not kidding. I'm being dead ass. 8 to 10 hours. Imagine sitting on the chair doing this, doing this, like, mm, back hurting, mm. So then I got to six hours, then I got to four hours, then I got to four to three hours. I really, really was striving to finish in two hours, an hour, but I just couldn't get there and I stopped. I didn't stop because I couldn't get there, but I stopped before I could, you know, achieve being faster. But if I was still doing it, I would have definitely got it by now if you guys want to check out my nail page i'll put the link in the description below too all right so the other questions are really just people repeating the same questions so i'm gonna just talk about it and when i talk about it it will answer your question most important thing about being a nail tech and about the nails is how long they last my nails could look bomb as fuck 10 out of 10 but if them just don't last more than a week that's bad that's bad your nails need to last at least the least two weeks. The most, shit, two months. You know I mean? For those that are doing nails, you might feel like you're, you're good at it. They look good. But if they're not lasting, do not take any clients because it's going to be a problem. Like When you're doing nails, it don't matter how bomb the nail looks, my guy. If, the, if they're thin as fuck, that's not it. Especially the longer they are, the thicker the nails need to be. If somebody wants, if somebody tells you they're too fat or I want them flat, flat, honey, don't come to me because that's not how nails are supposed to be. You need to have a nice little curve. I forgot what's it called. I haven't done nails in a minute. I forgot what it's called. But when you do nails, it needs to, it needs to have like a little bump at the top. And like, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know the proper terms anymore because I forgot. But the thumb cannot be wild flat and the rest be mad thick. That's, you're going to break. Like, if you don't have that support between, like, right here, it needs to be a little, like, I dragged it just now. But you I, y'all know what I'm saying? Like, a little, you know, a little thickness there so that it, when you bump your nail on a wall or a chair, the nail won't break. That's what's supporting, you know what I mean? Now also, also when you start doing nails self-taught, you need to think, okay, where, once, you, once you're once you thinking about taking clients, it's like, okay, do you have an office space to do it? 
Are you gonna do it in your house? Are you gonna travel to people? Me, I only had like close friends that I had come to my house because I didn't want a bunch of strangers in my house, feel me? And I, so I just had my champion bag, had put my supplies in it and I just traveled to people. My starting pay, what I used to charge was $35. But since I was traveling, I charged them, um, like, I'm from the Bronx. So if I traveled from someone from the Bronx, since the nails were 35, I would charge 45 for traveling, right? But the further you are, the more I charge. Like, I had a Brooklyn girl <clears throat> one time, and I traveled to her from Brooklyn, and I charged her $100. But she paid me $120. She tipped me. Thank you. So if you're going to travel... Make sure you have a traveling fee because, you know, you're paying your money to go to these people. Also, you go into strangers' houses, you have to think. That is very dangerous. You never know people's intentions, especially when it's people off Instagram. You don't know if they've been following you for a minute and they trying to get your ass. Like, so you have to be very careful and very mindful when you go to people's houses. But I did that. It was a cool experience for me. It was tiring, yes, because I was traveling to people. But that's how I got my money. Um, if you want to bring people into your house, that is your decision. Um, yeah, you can do that as well. Or you can rent an office space. If you're going to rent an office space, unless unless you got money like that, I would suggest not to until you get your clientele up. Because how are you going to pay for that rent? The reason why I stopped doing nails is because I was actually about to rent an office space and i would have to i would have leased it for a year right it was a yearly contract i was about to go check out the place get the place you know set it up as my nail my little nail salon i was about to, i was about to do this nail thing full on full on full on but the very next day i got a call from my school so a few months before i started doing nails i applied to the school and it's a medical assistant program the next day they called my school called me like we're opening up you can come in next week da 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 so i'm like wow now they want to open up and i'm about to open my business so i wanted to you know put my all into my program plus i have a child so and i could have i could have stopped going to school and pursued this full time but I'm just like, it makes more sense and it would just be a smarter choice to, you know, finish this in May as, you know, and do it full time because it's smart. I'm in the health department. When you're in the health department, you'll always have a job, especially now during Corona. They need health, health workers everywhere. So I'm like, let me let me do this career move. It was a career move for me. And I'm very much enjoying it. I really like it. I really love it. Actually, I love it. Um, so yeah, right now, so I just, I basically chose medical assistant over doing nails. Somebody said what I'm gonna do with it. Bitch, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I'll pay for that. I was gonna sell it and sell my nail page, but I don't wanna, you know, throw my hard work away. And I do have a few nail tutorials on this page too that I recorded um thanks for watching have a good christmas y'all yeah.